In the Tantric teachings, we find these terms coined, Yoni and Lingam. Sometimes people ask, what exactly do those words mean? What is the significance? Well, in Tantra, Yoni usually refers to the female genitals, and Lingam refers to the male genitals. These are words in the Sanskrit language, Sanskrit being a very ancient and also a very spiritual language, which means that these two concepts actually have meanings which are beyond just physical organs. But we'll get to that in a second. So when we're talking about Yoni and Linga in the Tantric tradition, we're actually saying that the genitals of the human being, those organs that for many of us, especially in the Western environment, are considered to be somewhat embarrassing concepts. We cover them, we hide them, we don't talk about it openly. It's a, usually something that people giggle and laugh about. It's a subject of jokes in light of modern religions and even religions more old than that, where we find a lot of this approach to sexuality that involves guilt and shows usually that these are things that are not just openly talked in many societies or environments, then the genitals for the modern person are usually considered to be organs that are there. We need to uh, discuss them if something goes wrong or if you're in your private chambers in bed with your partner or something, and that's as far as it goes. However, in the Tantric tradition, by naming the organs with spiritual names, Yoni and Lingam actually have spiritual meanings. Yoni refers to the source of creation, really. Just like it's an analogous concept, just like from the vagina of a woman, a child comes, life comes from that area in our bodies, in the female body. Then in the same way, the universe is created according to the tantric idea from the Yoni of the goddess. And that's why by naming that organ Yoni, we are actually referring or actually designating a spiritual name to that specific organ. Same goes for the genitals of the man, which is called the lingam uh, in the case of, in, from the tantric perspective, and lingam is as well a very spiritual name. It's a symbol. The Shiva lingam is one of the most sacred symbols in the Indian tradition. You find it in the Hindu religion that in many of the Hindu temples, a Shiva Lingam, same in the Tantric temples, is a centerpiece. It's actually a, usually a, some kind of a statue that shows a phallus shape structure made of usually stone, sometimes marble, and around it there's a specific shape that looks like the female genitalia or what we would call yoni. And the Shiva Lingam is a representation within a temple where people go to pray of the union of the Supreme Masculine and the Supreme Feminine. And that's exactly what the Yoni and Lingam represent. What the Tantrics are trying to tell us is that our genitals are not a source of shame. The Yoni and Lingam are considered to be terms that designate something sacred on our body. There are even Tantric authors that don't hesitate to state openly that the Yoni and Lingam are the mark of God or the mark of the divine on the human body. Such a different viewpoint on those areas of our body. And by having that kind of an amazing spiritual perspective and even using the names Yoni and Lingam, the Tantrics do various practices, rituals, meditations in order to bring a lot of energy into the area and to channel it through the body in order to reach higher levels of spiritual success. And that's why Yoni and Lingam are spiritual names that the Tantric tradition gives to the genitals for spiritual reasons.